Hello there. My name is Dave Stickler, and I'm proud to serve as CEO of Big River Steel. I'm filming today in my office in Osceola, Arkansas. I'd like to take this opportunity to, number one, thank the Big River Steel family. All of us are in this together. We're facing challenges that none of us, none of us, could have ever imagined we'd be forced to face. And I'm so proud of the way that the Big River Steel family has come together, rallied around our company flag, and is continuing today to produce the steels that are necessary for the United States, not only today, but tomorrow, weeks. Are our production work hours gonna be reduced like they have been at most mills around the country? The production work hours at Big River Steel are 24-7. They've been 24-7 since we started our company up three short years ago. They've continued 24-7 over the past six weeks as we've all dealt with this coronavirus situation. I plan to continue to operate this mill 24-7. We have a healthy customer base that has found ways to continue to support us in this very, very unusual time. So far, Big River Steel has proven itself a winner in dealing with this coronavirus. With our three big markets, all experiencing market softness, where are we gonna get the orders to fill the mill? You're right. All three of our key markets are suffering significant reductions in their business levels. We've been fortunate and we've been nimble enough that we've been able to capitalize on the demand for steel that's still coming out of some of those industries. We've identified a handful of customers like us. They are not afraid to try new creative ideas as far as buying and selling steel are concerned. Some of those efforts, I believe, will continue well past the date we come out of this coronavirus situation. Is Big River Steel going to borrow money from the federal government under the CARES Act? Fortunately, Big River Steel does not find itself in a situation where we are in need of borrowing money from the federal government. As of today, we have over $500 million of available liquidity. Our view is that those loan dollars, which are precious, may be more needed by companies other than Big River Steel. Are we still continuing with our phase two expansion project and our plans to break ground early next year on a paint line and the automotive focused galvanizing line? Yes and yes. Our expansion here in Osceola is well underway. We continue to be ahead of schedule and under budget. We have a schedule that calls for us to start our second furnace up in January of 2021. I'm pleased to say that we're on track to start that second furnace up prior to the end of this year. With regard to our advanced automotive galvanizing line, and paint line. Just last week, we finalized our technology competitive bid process and awarded the contracts for what will be an approximate $850 million further expansion here in Osceola to four leading technology companies from around the world. I couldn't be more excited that even in the face of this coronavirus, the Big River Steel technical teams, the Big River Steel operating teams, and the Big River Steel accounting and finance teams came together and we were able to move forward on such a significant, significant project. 